forgot your muffin. Hey, coffee buddy. Boy, are these mornings getting earlier or what? Hey, the cashier. Hey, Ron. Hey, Jer. Large coffee. Okay. Dollar eighty-six. It's a deal. <laughs> hey, Jer. Did you get the gig? You auditioned yesterday for Captain Stumpy. Arg! Shiver me, hush puppies. <laughs> it's like you were a real pirate. I didn't get it. Oh. Well, that's okay. You'll get the next one. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, you're low on sweet and low. You're low on the low. Low. <laughs> I got it covered. Thanks, Ron. Oh, that's okay. Uh, give me some sugar. Thank you. Well, here's Bud in your eye. I hope you choke him. <coughs> Gee, Jer. You're not as nice as you usually are. I'm sadder. Next. Large coffee. Hey, Jer. You know, uh, everybody has bad days. Everybody has days where they go, hey, this is a bad day. Your smile sickens me. Pay the cashier. Hey, we're coffee buddies. You had your coffee for the day, now get out. Well, what if I want something else? Uh, what if I want a muffin? You don't order muffins. Yeah, what if I, I just want to do something different? When, when life doesn't treat you right, make, make lemonade. You want a muffin? Yeah. What if I want it heated? For three years, I've been standing behind this counter waiting for something to change. You know what's changed? You order muffins now. Yeah, every journey starts with one foot. <laughs> oh, that's great. There's my audience, an extroverted retard who works in a mailroom. Here, here. Have my autograph. Thank you. Somebody take my picture. I'm famous. You don't see it, do you? No, you can't see it because you spend too much time in your mom's basement watching Star Trek reruns to see that I'm a failure. I wish I was dead. No, no. I wish you were dead. I wish you and everybody like you was dead. All the mindless meat bots who come in here every day and order coffee and never go see a play unless it's the national touring company of Tony and Tina's white trash Oklahoma Blue Man Christmas on Ice was dead. You know there's a monologue in Bus Stop that can change your life? No, you don't. You know why? Because I can't act. <laughs> I said it. I finally said it. I can't act. Wow. You know, it's times like this when your true colors come shining through. No, you don't get it. I I've been looking at it all wrong, Ron. There's plenty of things I can do. Plenty of things I'm good at. PR. Horses. I could be making a living doing something I'm good at instead of banging my head against the wall. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, coffee buddy. Coffee's on me tomorrow. Oh, no. I won't be coming here tomorrow. Oh, come on, Ron. I'm not going to get my dream job and quit that fast. Look, it's important to me that my coffee guy actually acts like he likes me. But I do like Oh, but I don't like you now. Well, I'll get somebody else to wait on you. Well, I'd still have to look at your face. I won't look at you. Well, maybe you'd accidentally look at me. Jesus, Ron. Just come in and hang out for a couple more days. It's not going to be that bad. A couple more days? A couple more days? Jer, what if it's, what if it's more than a couple more days? I mean, what if, you, what if you go out there and you discover that you're no good at horses? Or you go out there and you discover that you're no good at anything except for serving coffee? What if you're here forever? Anyway, okay, thanks. Bye, Jer. Who's a guy got a blow to get a cup of coffee in here? Being humble ain't the same as being wretched. I had to learn that once too, cowboy. But one day I stole a horse off the wrong man. Never thought I'd get mine from any preacher, but he was fair. Gave me every chance to put myself clear. A few days I decided the only thing to do was to admit to the man how I felt. Then I felt different about the whole thing. <laughs>